y'all, it's Polk and I'm back with another episode. Coming in at number seven is, drum roll please. Miss Nikki Taylor, also known as Tiana Taylor's mom. Before we get into it, let's hop into it. Let me show you who I'm rocking, okay? So the first young lady we have is a black owned business owner that has Gotti Collective, okay? And these are her earrings, what? Bust and quit playing. And then we have LeMay Lingerie. Now LeMay Lingerie holds a special part in my heart and I'm gonna tell y'all why as we get into the story. She got it. She said thank you so, 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 so much. She loves it. Like thank she you. Said, thank you. And she will read it every day. Okay. So, Miss Nikki Taylor, I was able to go see uh, Miss Tiana Taylor for, I think, about under $75, how much my concert was. I watched her perform. She was a wonderful performer, loved her energy, and was really happy to see her grow as an artist um, as she moved from modeling and singing and dancing and actually seeing her perform at the Kwanzaa Fest when I was a younger version of myself, probably around middle school, in my middle school years. Um, this concert meant a lot to me also that I wanted to give her my book specifically at this concert at this time because she actually wanted to retire uh, from everything that she did within the industry. And people go through a lot and at that moment, I just knew that if she probably had my book or could read a quote here or there, it could give her a little, you know, motivation to keep pushing if she decided to or just lighten up her days or her workload. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to specifically give her my book. Like I said, she's a wonderful performer. Didn't want to mess up her performance at all. But after the concert, I waited at the bottom of the stage and I asked everybody I really could, the DJs, the dancers, you know, could I give Miss Tiana Taylor my book? And sadly, nobody could really help me. But then this other lady walked over, Miss Nikki Taylor, her mother and her manager. And I was able to give Miss Nikki Taylor the book. Uh, she told me that she would read it every day and that she loved it. And we talked about how the book actually looked like Miss Tiana Taylor's daughter. So it was a beautiful experience. It was a lot of love. She even got on Instagram and commented, or Twitter and commented, hearts under the post so it was just amazing it was a very good opportunity that i just you know was able to jump on in the matter of seconds to just by waiting at the stage after the concert so yeah y'all that's how i got my book to miss nikki taylor and we'll be back with another episode